What's up guys, it's Dwayne from mountainbuck.com where we go from backyard to backwoods. And guys, today I'm checking out the Moultrie Micro 42 trail camera. This is a micro trail cam with megapixels. This thing has 42 megapixels, guys. I've never seen a trail cam with that many megapixels. There is a lot to love about this little trail cam and I'm gonna break it all down for you in this video. So hook me up and hit subscribe and let's get started. We of course have our Moultrie sticker, some instructions, and the strap for the tree. So the first thing you notice about this little trail camera is its size. It's obviously very small. It is three and a quarter inches wide, three and a half inches tall, and just over two and a half inches deep. That thing is tiny. And guys, this is gonna be super easy to conceal. We've all seen or heard about people that have had cameras stolen up there. This, along with the Moultrie white bark camo, look at that camo, that's a really nice looking camo up there. It's gonna blend in really well in a lot of surroundings, a lot of trees. But we've all heard about guys having a trail cam stolen. Uh, not a very good experience. You can also lock this thing down. You have a, uh, a Python cable you could throw in there and lock this down as well. But that small size is gonna keep this thing hidden and, and nice and secure so you don't get it stolen. So the nice thing here is this thing only takes four AA batteries and Moultrie provides them for you. How nice, that's really nice of them. And guys, these four batteries will last up to 13,000 images. That's gonna last your whole season, unless you have nonstop deer running through your trail cam area. That's gonna last your entire season. You're gonna be all set with just these four little batteries. It's gonna save you money right there. So this camera has a basic no frills setup, just a small digital display with a few options on there. They don't get overloaded with all these crazy options on there. There's no LCD monitor to, you know, check your photos or anything like that. And that's because this camera is so small. That LCD monitor, if you have one on here, it would drain the batteries. These batteries, four batteries, will probably last you the entire season. I also really appreciate that this takes a standard SD card. Uh, I'm a big fan of the standard SD cards. I don't really like the micro SDs because they're so small. I'm afraid I'm gonna lose them or snap them right in half or something. I really like the standard SD cards. If you drop those in the woods, they're gonna be a lot easier to find than those other little things. So that SD card's gonna go right in here. So there is one thing that's a little bit different about this camera as I'm setting it up, and that is that you have to choose either photos or video. You cannot choose photo and video. It does offer 1280p video if you would like to select that option. But guys, let's be honest, this is a 42 megapixel camera. The main purpose of this thing is to take ultra high resolution photos. I mean, if you get a really nice buck, a nice picture of a buck, and maybe you harvest it later, you could blow that thing up to 24 by 36 inch poster size, put that in your man cave, put it in your trophy room, whatever it is, it'd be really cool to see that buck up there before you've taken him living and doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? So this is what this camera's for. It's gonna take ultra high def pictures for you. I mean, I'm personally gonna run about six or seven trail cameras uh, this season. I have two cell cameras. I have some cameras that I focus on photos and videos. And then this guy here is gonna get those super ultra high def videos. And because of that, there is the three picture burst option. So I am gonna select that one so I get three pictures in succession, just so I can get a better understanding of what's going on. That's the, sec that's the selection I'm gonna have. All right, so we have the settings dialed in right where we want them. Let's go set this up on the tree and run some tests. All right, so I got this guy set up on the tree and just take a look at how small this thing is. This shot here is from about 15 yards away and you can barely notice it. And that thing's wide out in the open on this tree. If this were tucked away with some other trees, some branches, some thicker stuff in there, it would be concealed really well and you'd have a really hard time making it out. 
This camera also has a 70 foot detection range and a 100 foot flash range. It also has a 0.4 second trigger speed. What I'm gonna do now is my trigger speed analysis. I'm gonna work my way around here, set up about 10 yards or so in front of the camera, run right by and see how long it takes that camera to pick me up. All right, so I'm about the same body mass as a good size buck. That camera should pick me up no problem with that 0.4 second trigger speed. Let's check the footage. The Micro 42 caught me just after mid frame and that quick trigger will have no trouble catching all the action. Here we have a nice gobbler with that long beard and check out this shot. This trail cam caught this great shot with those wings all spread out and look at that great detail there with those feathers. Here's a nice little buck that's been hanging around. Another nice shot here of this fawn with her mom. Look at those little spots on there. Here we have our two girls hanging out, eating that new Moultrie peanut butter deer magnet. If you guys haven't seen that video, you should definitely check it out. Here you can see the nighttime photo quality. And here's a quick shot. I just wanted to show you what those infrared lights look like at night. Now, if you don't want any lights at all, you can absolutely get the Micro 42i here is a daytime video test. And a night video here, and that little glow in the ground is from another trail camera I had set up. I will note that there is no audio for those video recordings, but like I said, the main purpose of this camera is for those ultra high resolution photos. It is the Micro 42 from Moultrie, a micro camera with megapixels. As always, the links to the guys we talked about are in the description below. Hook me up and hit subscribe. Thank you guys so much for hanging out and we'll see you on the next one.